What's going on guys, Matt here, and today we're talking about three easy ways you can step up your audio game. Audio is one of the most important things to video, and if you don't have good audio, it doesn't matter how good your camera is, your video is going to look bad. So the first thing you should do to step up your audio is to get an external microphone. Now this is going to come down to what your needs are really. If you make a lot of videos where you're just kind of sitting here talking in front of the camera and not moving around a lot, your best bet is probably to get a shotgun mic. And that's what I'm actually using right now. I'm using a Rode NTG4 Plus and it's boomed right above my head. And shotgun mics are going to give you that really crispy movie like audio. But if you're going to be moving around and you're not going to be just sitting at the camera, your best bet is to go with a lavalier microphone. Lavalier mics are those ones that clip onto your shirt or under your shirt. They're great if you need to get audio and your subject's moving around a lot. The downside to having a lavalier mic is that the audio isn't as high quality. Since it sits under your chin and it picks up a lot of the vibrations from your chest and your throat, shotgun microphones really pick up the sound from your mouth and it sounds the most natural. So you're gonna have to think about that if you're gonna be moving around a lot. Your best bet is to have both in your camera bag, a shotgun mic, and a lavalier mic. Shotgun mics are also great for vlogging if you just put them in the hot shoe mount above your camera. You can pick up much better audio than your camera's built-in microphone. Now the second very easy way to improve your audio, and this really takes it to another level, is to just get close to the microphone. Most people buy shotgun microphones and they leave them in the hot shoe mount on top of their camera and they'll sit far away from it like I am right now. This is what it sounds like when you leave your Video Road Mic Pro or other shotgun microphone just attached to the top of your camera. It's not very good, right? And this is what it sounds like when you boom it right above your subject's head. It sounds like a completely different microphone. And the only thing you need to get to do this is a cheap boom mic stand and a 3.5 millimeter extension cable, all of which will be linked down in the description below. Now I'm back to using my NTG4 Plus, which is a more professional styled shotgun microphone, but if you're in a budget, you might want to stick with a Video Road Mic Pro. Now those were two ways that you can really step up your audio game, and that's really going to take you to the next level. But the third and final thing I think you should do is polish it up and process it in post. Now a lot of people don't take the time to do this, but if you do, it really takes you to that next level and gives you really crispy audio. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll go through my workflow of how I process my audio. If you use the Adobe programs for editing, you can follow along here because I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere and Audition and they work seamlessly. Let me show you how to do that in Premiere. So once you drag your clips to the timeline, the first thing I like to do before I do any cutting is edit the audio file as a whole. So the way to easily edit your audio in Adobe Premiere is to right click on your audio file and hit edit clip in Adobe Audition. And that's going to open up Adobe Audition and we can edit our sound file. Now, if you've never used Adobe Audition, it may look a little intimidating, but what we're going to do here is super simple. So once your audio file is loaded in, make sure that it is green and black here. That just lets you know that it is all selected and any edits you do to it will affect the entire clip. So we'll go over here to Effects and we'll go down to Filter and EQ and we'll hit the Graphic Equalizer 20 Bands. This is gonna edit the specific frequencies of your voice. So you could copy what I have done here, but it might make your voice sound a little different. The way to get this right is to just play around with them because everyone has a different voice and there's no default good settings to have. And to hear a preview, you just hit this little play button. What's going on guys, Matt here. In, and you can hear what the effects are doing by toggling this little power button in the bottom corner. So once you have your settings set to where you like them, just hit apply. It's going to do that to the entire clip. Now see that it's white and green. For the next effect we add, we just got to click somewhere on this timeline and that's going to highlight it all again. Then we'll go over to effects, back down to filter and EQ again, and we're going to go to our parametric equalizer. And this is where I like to adjust the levels of mid, lows, and highs in the voice. So I like to bring the bass up a little bit on mine. Audition saves your settings and I know that these settings are exactly where I want them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply again. Now the final thing I like to do is get rid of any noise or humming that was going on in the background. And we'll just go ahead and highlight a part where there was no talking or noise. And we can see if there's any background hum that was going on. Then we'll go over to effects again. We'll hit noise reduction slash restoration. And we're going to go to capture noise print. Now click somewhere outside of the highlighted area and go to effects. 
noise reduction restoration and we'll hit noise reduction process. Now here's where you don't want to go overboard on adjusting your settings because if you adjust your noise reduction too much your voice is going to sound really flangy and unnatural. So find a sweet spot in your audio when you're playing with the noise reduction settings. The only sliders you're going to want to use here are noise reduction and reduce by. Just hit the play button to hear what that's doing in real time. Step up your audio game. Once you have it to a point you like just hit apply and you got your audio cleaned up. You can see there's nothing going on in the background there. Now you can take it a step further and normalize your audio and process it, but I think it sounds a little unnatural, so I just like to leave it what I've done here. So to import this over into Premiere, we're just gonna go to File and Save, and that's gonna automatically update it in real time in Premiere. So we hop on over to Premiere, and it is the new audio that we edited. Now one of the things that I like to do is boost this audio up because it is pretty low and if you were to normalize your audio this would have fixed this but I don't think it sounds as natural as just boosting the gain a little bit. So I'll usually boost it 5 to 6 depending. Just make sure that you don't get any peaking going on in your audio. What's going on guys Matt here and today we are talking about 3 ways you can easily step up your audio game. And I think that audio sounds pretty clear. So that's really all there is to it guys. There's not a lot to processing your audio. It's pretty simple and easy once you understand what's going on. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you did find this video helpful though, if you could drop a like, that'd be really helpful for me. And if you wanna see more videos from me, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified from all the new videos that I have coming out. But until then guys, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I know. Getting lost late at night under stars. Finding love, standing right where we are